Tricia Lewis, a technology coach in the Richland School District, was recently named a 2021 K-12 IT Influencer by EdTech Magazine. Only 30 people from over the entire country made the list. Tricia Lewis said the award was sponsored by CDW. It's kind of like the Amazon for the tech world. Um, we, even here at the school district, we order things for, from CDW to use in our district. They kind of supply businesses and schools with technology products. That's their company. That's what they do. According to EdTech Magazine, these K-12 IT leaders work together and with students to create the best environments for learning. They fought to close the digital equity gaps and shared resources for everything from classroom management systems to professional development to help other educators succeed. Tricia Lewis shared what she felt made her one of the top 30. I guess my biggest thing that I can say was going on is I'm kind of a big Twitter user, and my Twitter following has expanded quite a bit over the last few years. I mean, I've been on Twitter for over a decade, but it seems like just lately it's kind of expanded. And I think that's due to I've spoke at, you know, several state and national conferences in person and online. This past year, I probably spoke at a different conference all around the United States right from my office here at the high school um, Nebraska, California, uh, Illinois, Minnesota. So just speaking at those events, you know, even though it's a virtual speaking uh, engagement. And I'm speaking at another national event this summer. So that, you know, I think that was kind of part of it, the Twitter thing, and then just getting my name out there, you know, speaking about how to do things with technology in schools. Educators who rose to the challenges presented during the past year often did so with educational technology. Many K-12 districts adapted new learning styles. Classrooms across the country relied on remote, hybrid, and in-person learning models to continue to provide meaningful educational experiences for students. I spoke at this conference in, for, for Nebraska educators. You know, that's what it's mostly billed as. And as an in-person conference, probably didn't have too many people from outside of Nebraska that attended that conference. But that Nebraska conference, you know, they said they had people from all over the United States as well as international people that attended that conference who probably would have never been there before but had the opportunity now to because things were online. And I think that this online component of conferences, I think that's going to be a here-to-stay thing, that they're seeing the benefit of being able to get a wider audience, you know, a conference that even had, you know, two or 3,000 people attend it in real life could still have two or 3,000 people in real life and another two or 3,000 online to be able to attend and learn and share and grow. So I think that's kind of a interesting thing. I think this has really come about because of the last, you know, 14 months that we've been in this pandemic. Tricia Lewis says that teaching evolved alongside classrooms as educators and IT professionals discovered innovative solutions. Lewis advocates for educational technology through her role as a technology integration professional for the Richland School District. In her position, she brings individual and group training to the 200-plus staff employed by the Richland District. I'm always on demand uh, for, for my job here at the school district. If anybody needs help with how to do something, we can jump on a either Zoom or we use Google Meet here at the school as well. As I can send them a link and be able to help them through things. But I had I have had scheduled meetings that were noon every Wednesday. That's one of the one of the benefits of having this Wednesday where we have this day of preparation and learning for staff is that we can keep our learning really evolving at a quick pace instead of just waiting for one in-service day that might only come once every three months. And so I um, had a series of, of different things that I was doing noon on Wednesday. And I did a different thing every week. Lewis also made the links available to other school districts. I sent the links out to our neighboring districts and all around. And I had people from everywhere join in for my noon learning series. And then I just posted the videos on my YouTube channel. And they're still being watched now. I also put out a weekly newsletter. I mean, that's electronic newsletter 
that's one of the things I think that got my IT influencer thing. I've had newsletter for almost three years now, every week on Tuesday, talking about things that you can do in your classroom to, you know, spin technology into content areas. The thing on my bucket list to start for the next school year is to have an audio podcast. And that's just going to be another thing that's not only available to all the staff in the Richland School District, but to anyone because I host it on my website. Trisha Lewis is certified through Google for Education and Microsoft in Education. You can learn more about Trisha and her work at Trisha Lewis. Trisha Lewis, a technology coach in the Richland School District, was recently named a 2021 K-12 IT influencer by EdTech Magazine. Only 30 people from over the entire country made the list. Trisha Lewis said the award was sponsored by CDW. It's kind of like the Amazon for the tech world. Um, we even.